Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. You know, every now and then, the universe sends us a message. And right now, a visitor from a completely different star system is racing through our cosmic neighborhood, and it has just revealed one of its biggest secrets. We're talking about an interstellar comet called 3i slash Atlas. And what scientists have just found out is, well, it's changing how we think about the very fabric of the cosmos. So, get this, a new study just came out and it shows this distant traveler is losing water at an unbelievable rate. In fact, the discovery was so startling that the scientist who found it described it as leaking water like a fire hose running at full blast. Just imagine that, a massive torrent of vapor gushing into the void of space. And you have to understand, this isn't just any old observation. This is a huge deal. It marks the very first time we've ever detected the chemical fingerprint of water spilling from a comet that came from outside our own solar system. Okay, so how did scientists even find this watery secret and what does it really mean for us? Well, here's what we're gonna cover. We'll start with the visitor's secret itself, then decode the ultraviolet glow that gave it away. We'll look at a really unexpected anomaly and then ask if this points to a universal family of comets. After that, we'll touch on the big one, the ingredients for life. And finally, we'll see what's next on this comet's journey. All right, let's dive in. Section one, a visitor's watery secret. Let's properly introduce our subject, Comet 3i slash Atlas. Now, this is only the third known interstellar object we've ever spotted passing through our solar system. That makes each one of these visitors an absolutely priceless messenger, carrying clues from the star system where it was born. Which brings us to the next part, decoding an ultraviolet glow. This is where we get into the scientific detective work. I mean, think about it. Finding water on something that's millions of kilometers away, that's an incredible challenge. It takes some seriously clever techniques. So that really is the central question, isn't it? How do you actually see water from millions upon millions of kilometers away? It's not like you can just point a telescope and spot a puddle on its surface. The answer, it turns out, lies in looking for a very specific kind of chemical echo. See, scientists don't actually detect the water molecule, you know, H2O, directly. Instead, they look for what you might call its chemical ghost, a little fragment called hydroxyl, or OH. What happens is when sunlight hits a water molecule and basically shatters it, this hydroxyl fragment is left behind, and that fragment emits a faint but really distinct glow in ultraviolet light. That glow is the fingerprint they were hunting for. And here's a great illustration of how that works. First, sunlight, acting like a kind of cosmic hammer, strikes a water molecule that's coming off the comet. Then, that molecule splits into its component parts, the leftover bit, that hydroxyl fragment, then emits that faint ultraviolet glow. And finally, a specialized instrument, in this case NASA's SWIFT Observatory, is able to pick up that very specific signature from all the way across the solar system. Pretty brilliant, right? Now let's talk about the unexpected anomaly. Because this discovery wasn't just, hey, we found water, it actually revealed a complete surprise. This comet wasn't behaving at all like scientists thought it would. Okay, so by analyzing that ultraviolet glow, the team was able to calculate how much water the comet was losing. And the number is just staggering, about 40 kilograms every single second. To give you some perspective, that's like taking a big heavy suitcase full of water and chucking it into space every single second. That's the fire hose they were talking about. But here's what makes this so strange. It's where the comet was when all this was happening. It was almost three times farther away from the sun than we are. We're talking way out there in the cold, dark reaches of the solar system. Yeah, at that kind of distance, it is incredibly cold. Water ice just, it shouldn't be turning into vapor. The scientific term is sublimating with so much energy. Usually comets that belong to our solar system are much, much quieter when they're that far out in the deep freeze of space. So here's the bottom line. Based on all that water loss, researchers figure that at least 8% of the comet's surface has to be active. Now that might not sound like a lot, but it's a surprisingly huge number. It's almost double what we typically see from comets that were born right here in our own solar system. This puzzle has led to a really fascinating new idea. What if all that activity isn't coming from the comet's main surface at all? The theory goes like this. Maybe chunks of ice are breaking off and just drifting around in that fuzzy gas cloud, the coma, that surrounds the comet. 
Then, sunlight can warm up these smaller floating pieces of ice, causing them to act like a bunch of tiny little steam vents, releasing water vapor even while the main body of the comet stays mostly frozen. Okay, so this brings up a great question. Is this leading to a universal family of comets? How does 3i slash Atlas actually stack up against the other interstellar visitors we've seen? Well, it turns out there's just no such thing as a typical interstellar object. Every single one has been a total surprise. Let's just run through them. Our first visitor, Oumuamua, back in 2017. It seemed to be a dry, rocky, and really weirdly shaped object. Then came 2i Borisov in 2019, which was packed with carbon monoxide. And now we have 3i Atlas, which is proving to be incredibly rich in water. They are all completely different from each other. It's exactly like lead researcher Zexi Shing said, every interstellar comet so far has been a surprise. Each one is rewriting what we thought we knew about how planets and comets form around stars. They're forcing us to challenge our most basic assumptions, suggesting that the whole process might be way more diverse than we ever thought possible. And that really brings us to the bigger picture here, the ingredients for life. Why is finding water on a comet from another star so incredibly important? Well, because it connects directly to one of the most profound questions we can possibly ask about our place in the universe. I think this quote from Dennis Bodowitz, one of the study's co-authors, really nails it. He said, it tells us that the ingredients for life's chemistry are not unique to our own. I mean, just think about that. Finding water in a comet from another star system is direct evidence that the basic building blocks for life's chemistry, they're not just here, they're out there. So what's next? The journey continues. The story of 3i slash Atlas is absolutely not over. Even though it's faded from view for some telescopes, there's a whole international campaign gearing up to keep an eye on it as it continues its long journey through our solar system. In November, the JUICE mission, which is on its way to Jupiter, is actually going to turn its powerful instruments to get a peek at 3i slash Atlas. Now, we will have to be patient. That data probably won't get back to Earth until February 2026, but man, it promises to be our best look at this thing yet. You know, every single molecule that escapes from 3i slash Atlas is a clue. It's like a whisper from another world telling us about how planets form and maybe, just maybe, how life itself might begin. It's a powerful reminder that we are part of this huge interconnected cosmos that's just full of surprises. And it leaves you wondering, what will the next message from the stars have to say?